remove power from the GLS. Notice the tubing routing guide located on the center section. Remove the suction line from the tubing coupler and pull the other end of the pump tubing off of the bulkhead fitting. Loosen the thumb screws to remove the liquid detector cover and the pump housing cover. Remove the pump tubing from the GLS. It can be helpful to rotate the pump rollers by hand in this process. Replacement tubing is available in bulk rolls of 10 feet and 50 feet lengths. Each bulk roll includes an instruction sheet that shows you how to properly measure, mark, and cut your replacement tubing depending on the sampler model and the specific bottle configuration. Follow the instructions for your specific sampler model and bottle configuration to determine where to mark the replacement tube. Starting at one end, apply the first installation mark. Then measure to the second installation mark. And finally, measure and mark the overall length of the replacement tube. After the installation and overall length marks are in place, Cut the tubing at the overall length mark. Reinstall the tubing coupler to the new pump tube and install the tubing so the inlet end with the tubing coupler fits into the top groove in the liquid detector housing. Push the tube through the pump rollers. It can be helpful to rotate the pump rollers by hand in this process. Reinstall the liquid detector and pump housing covers and tighten the thumb screws. Connect the discharge side of the pump tubing to the bulkhead fitting on the GLS center section. Reapply power to the GLS. Enter in the code 6398823 from the GLS user manual and press enter. Reset the pump counter by selecting yes, then press enter. If the pump tubing warning has already occurred prior to tubing change, you can select View Log and enter through the information provided by the GLS. After entering through the View Log menu, the tubing counter will be reset. Pump tube replacement is now complete.